Welcome one and all back to the Valley and Shade. You hear the man named Jack. We are still playing Dongan Ropa. Subtitle Trigger Happy Madness? No. Trigger Trigger Happy Havoc. Trigger Happy Havoc, that's it. Look at that. Uh Gary from Pokemon Red. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, you can still call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? <laughs> ha! That's a good name! Strong name! You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent <laughs> name. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right? Just do it! Just do it! Yeah, he's a good hype man. This is this is a hype man. I this don't, is he the dude. is nothing like Gary. This is yeah, you're right. He's he's Gary's too much of a bitch for this dude. This is the guy who's like, hey man, I'm really freaked out about this test. This dude comes over and hypes you the fuck up so you can destroy that test. <laughs> not not a husbando, but definitely best man Where at the wedding. Makoto's going. This guy is kind of annoying. Uh, no, disagree. fuck you, Makoto. Hard disagree. Hard disagree, <laughs> fuck Gary. You. Hard disagree. You're kind of annoying, Makoto. What's his name? Kiyotaka. I'm gonna have to actually learn your name because I love you so far. All right, we'll do. We're gonna do Go for Boy last because I don't like him. I just don't. <laughs> you make me uncomfy. You look like Onion Knight if Onion Knight had some cognitive disabilities. Well, do you just wanna get him over with then? No, he's going last. Toko Fukuo. Toko Fukuo. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukuoka. Ultimate oh, writing I prodigy, Toko Fukawa. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was ten that got everyone talking and launched a literary career. And two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her magnum opus. Masterpiece is too boring of a word. We'll call it. We'll go for magnum opus. Get some vocabulary in there. Book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men poll. Okay. That's talent. Just, no, 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 no. You're telling me that fishermen beat out firemen for hottest men? For sure. So, and, and do you not think firemen are sexy? No. You have to be the only woman who doesn't think firemen are sexy. I mean, I'm all about guys who love dogs when they do have Dalmatians. Fuck! But I'm, I'm there for the Dalmatian, not the guy. Okay. Alright. So what you're saying is you're a furry. No. <laughs> I, I'm not saying I want to fuck the dog. I'm saying I want to pat the dog, put on it. This just in strawberries on record saying so I probably shouldn't go on with that. Next bit. Next bit. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem? What? It's not polite to stare at you, know. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Okay. I'm I'm getting I'm getting some vibes from her. This she's she's hiding some insanity. She's definitely hiding some insanity. But don't all writers. You right. Fil filthy creature? What? No, no. I just I just thought. I know what you just thought. She's got Donald Trump hands. <laughs> Look at how tiny they are. Ooh. You just thought you've never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. I have I have seen dated and banged women way uglier than you, Toko Fukawa. You at worst you're like a seven. Like at absolute worst you rank at a seven. You got a nice face, got the glasses going for you, good hair, slim figure, no acne, pale skin. Like at absolute worst you could maybe be a seven. Don't come closer, Jenna, though. She had ten. I thought you said I was a seven. What? No. She's a seven. Yeah, but you called me a seven before. Have I? But you are as a goddess. Thank you. Old-fashioned Greek goddess. Aphrodite right here with the thighs to prove it. You're an 
on the hexadesk scale? Damn, so one part of me. That'd be an A though. Hexadecimal. You break, you break the, the metric for me. So hexadecimal is most commonly used in computer coding, where it's one through ten, but it, it uses single-digit characters. So it goes zero through nine, and then A B C D E F, with A through F replacing ten to sixteen. I will so never you can, remember any of this information. So you can, well, yeah, hexa six decimal ten. Hexadecimal, 610. It's a 16 base number counting system. It's, it's used in programming because programming has to be some form of binary based system. Like you've got pure binary, zeros and ones. Um, quatrary doesn't exist, but that would be one through four. We'll, we'll get back to you in a second, Toko. You we'll, keep, we'll get you, to you. You keep your cool. Byte, uh, byte coding, which is eight bits, which is, wait, no, not eight bits, not byte coding. Octary would be one through eight, because like to in the, in, the, in each 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 additional thing is an additional unit in binary. Like one binary unit's two, two binary units is four, uh, three binary units is eight, four binary units is sixteen. So a you would use hexadecimal is a four bit number that you can represent as a single character in hexadecimal. It's, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Just coding trivia, maybe. Don't take my word for it. I only took like two or three coding classes. I'm telling you, don't bother to try and lie to me. Okay, so what Japanese trope is this? I know it's not sundere or yandere. You will figure it out. Well, what, what dere is this? Cause I don't know any of the other deres. She's yandere? Really? Okay. But that's a spo that's a spoiler. I, that's why I didn't want to. Well, I mean, she's got she's got the bipolar insanity of the Yandere, so I'm not terribly surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll, we'll get there. I know it's true. Otherwise, you I know you can't stand looking at me. Girl, you anyway. Some whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. You need somebody to fuck some confidence into you. Wow. Talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. No, I mean, I understand, because she's alone all the time, right? I guess, but... I don't know. I have I have seen way uglier women with way more confidence. Anyways, Sayaka Maizono. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Yikes, your voice is okay. See, she looks like Yandere. Ultimate pop sensation. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. And that pleasant scent, I can't quite place. It almost reminds me of Coke, but more flowery. Like, don't Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. Does she get turned into a doll later? Is that foreshadowing? Well, see. Okay. Look at me. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Oh god, she's psychic! <laughs> she is the clairvoyant. <laughs> Can you see my fantasies? Uh -uh. Huh? D did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Ah, fuck. Don't tell anyone about my psyche. Actually, I don't know if a clairvoyant would be able to see my psyche and remain sane. Like, uh, okay, if you ever play the Deadpool video game, which is a great game, by the way, it really captures... You can play that for your channel. I don't know if it's on PC. But anyways, at one point, a sidekick is trying to read Deadpool's mind, and it's like, my god, it's like a sack of rabid ferrets! That's about what my interior monologue would be like. Anyways. Aww! <laughs> Intuition. You're a liar, too. I like it. Yeah, she's a sharp one. 
Like seven nanometers from the... Oh god, I don't know how to rhyme that one with an edge pun. Oh well. Hey, um... Uh, hey, by any chance? Yes, I'm free tonight. Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto did... Just hold on! Jeez, you guys! How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um, sorry. Just got carried away, I guess. They've got history. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. I should catch up with her after this and talk with her a little bit. But it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. We can talk later, you and me. God, we're getting closer to it. You look cool. Leon! <laughs> you just... <laughs> Something funny, Strawberry? around his groin, all right? Even if he had a foot-long dick, it would be enveloped in the punch. I'm crying. <laughs> okay, okay, come on. That, that below the belt, that's not fat. Those are testicles that are swollen <laughs> with fat because his body ran out of place to pack on the extra cells and his balls have just swollen to the point that he can barely fit them into his pants. <laughs> Not in a good way. <laughs> We're talking like corruptions of champions. The dude almost needs a wheelbarrow over there. I love you, baby. <laughs> That's good. Nobody else does. Leon Kuwata! Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. Ultimate baseball star here. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their team up there. Ultimate baseball star. That's and that superb athletic specimen is you. You seriously? Huh? What's wrong? There, nothing. I'm just surprised. Figured with you being the ultimate baseball star, Take a break. What? You're expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just. Ex he was expecting a shaved head. There it is. I was just expecting a, you know, more sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. You admitted to cyber stalking. Um, what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? God, I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. So not cool. Seriously. I'm like mega embarrassed now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Like shaving your head like that is part of the national championship regimen. Seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair. I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest you with know, you? No. I don't like baseball. Like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. Whoa. He's never practiced and he's still a team star player? He must be some kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and somebody on guitar. And we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me is that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that I hope he's stuck, so. from a baseball all-star. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help! Alright, time to quit the game now. <laughs> quit! Oh, God. No. I, I want an episode break for the memes. No, don't do it. Okay. Mm. We can episode break for the next set of... Hifumi Yamada. You mean like the Yamada Star Cruiser? because you're big enough for it. I should stop roasting this dude, but he's got an arrow pointing to his dick. Like, 
Come on! Yeah, no, like, all of that is his dick. That's just, like, he's got his dick tucked up, up his belt, mm -hmm. and into his chest. And that's just his giant swollen penis. And yeah. if he pops a boner, his shirt just explodes off of him. Yeah, he's, he's actually hard right now. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. I bet you're the Alpha and the Omega because you ate everything in between! <laughs> you ate the appetizer and the dessert! <laughs> Can I replay that sound bite? Hifumi Yamada. He sounds kind of a main character. But if you want to call me by my name, oh God, I, don't, I, I can't. I don't know if I can do a voice for him that won't shred my vocal cords. Do you want to try? I'm Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega, I don't mind. How's that? Well, that would be a little bit too bright. Let me take a drink of water and try again. <clears throat> if it helps, you won't be voicing him very often. Yep, <laughs> I'm Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call uh, me by my nickname, I'll be Alpha and the Omega. I don't like it. <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> you yep, kill me, all I like this character, but now you're going to make me hate him. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll, I'll try again serious. It, you might as well. Can, can I replay that sound bite, though? I've lost it. He'll talk again. I'm Hifumi Amata. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega, I don't mind. Ultimate fan... No, yeah, this guy does fanfic. It's an accurate translation. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? It's called hentai, and it's art. He's definitely the otaku you were talking about earlier. Yeah, this guy's the ultimate otaku. Otaku? Yes, otaku. Okay. What did I say, Otaka? I think so, yeah. My bad, I'm thinking about tacos. World of 2D? <laughs> <laughs> well, in that world, I am known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Okay, 10,000's a lot for a school festival, but it's not like record-breaking national numbers. Also, I think that when he tilts his head down, that's his giant ass. Nope, that's his lip. <laughs> what is that actual genetic deformity called? Because I, I, I feel like that's an actual thing. It's like a cleft lip or something? Hold on. Yeah, that's what that's oh, called. Oh god, it's so ugly. Take it away, take it away, please. That's what, well, that's what he's got. He's got a cleft lip. I just look at him like he's a squirrel. A squirrel works. That hair, man, everything about him just screams uncomfy. The hair, like all aspects of the hair. The weird double wave in the middle, the wing tips off to the side, the fucking singular spike on top, the, 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 the squirrel face. The shirt that is physically impossible to button. The, the tie pointing to his dick. I'm cool. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can it be? Uh, that's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is pretty remarkable. However, however, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nyagi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. I found a voice for, for my work is filled with deepest meaning. What, what kind of meaning? Big ass anime titties. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking huge badabongas. I mean, I'm talking just massive gal honk a bonk alone. Yes, indeed. It's about yeah. embracing our basest urges for titties. I don't think I want to comprehend your base urges. Right. Oh, God. Okay, thanks. Fuck. All right. Episode break here. <laughs> Episode break here. That that wasn't that bad, but I am I'm somehow not surprised that he's the fanfic dude. 
And I, you say it was a mistranslation. It's supposed to be manga. I was, it, it's he. He looks like a fanfic dude. I mean, I was saying he was a manga writer in Japanese. I'll, I'll take your word for it. But we're out of time, and I do hear my curtain calling to me. So thank you all for watching. But I must bid you all adieu until I see you next time right here. But until then, Tong punch that like button so you can give me the motivation to keep making videos on the dark side.